Uh, hello everybody, this is Dr. Cole. It's Sunday evening, October 30th, uh, and we're now entering week 11 of Political Science 1013 for the fall 2022 term on the 16-week schedule. Okay, everybody, very quickly, uh, we have finished now with a discussion and a quiz on the presidency, and we're moving on now to a short unit on the federal bureaucracy that we will try to, to uh, finish up this week on the syllabus. Then once we do that, we have two weeks before the Thanksgiving holiday on the Supreme Court. And then once we return from Thanksgiving holiday, we'll have about two weeks on Congress um, to finish up the term. So for this week, we have a discussion and a quiz uh, related to the federal bureaucracy. The quiz is going to be taking place this Saturday the 5th for 24 hours. You have three things to look at. The first one is an article that goes back before President Biden took office during the Trump administration. And the gentleman uh, is attempting to defend federal employees in general. I believe the article is entitled Five Myths About Federal Employees. Then you have an article about what President Biden did immediately after taking office to try to undo what he and his people thought was some damage that had been done to the federal bureaucracy um, during the Trump administration. Then the final piece is from just a few weeks ago in the Wall Street Journal, and it is entitled uh, something along the lines of, to paraphrase, uh, the president needs to be able to fire people. Okay. Uh, now, this came out at a time at which some reports were appearing in the press that represented that President Trump, if he goes back into office, it's being speculated that one of the first things he will do is to fire federal bureaucrats by the thousands. Perhaps 50,000 federal bureaucrats would be fired in the first few days or a couple of weeks of a second Trump administration. Now, that gets to what we were talking about in the class notes for Unit 6, which is a fairly short set of class notes, there's two things we're trying to accomplish in those class notes. Number one, to describe the federal bureaucracy to you. It consists of 15 cabinet-level departments and many other bureaucratic entities that are not part of any cabinet-level department. Uh, Examples, a very important example, would include that of the Independent Regulatory Commission, whose uh, activities sometimes become something of a political sore spot, regulatory commissions, which very often are not part of a larger cabinet-level department. All right. Then we need to discuss difficulties that the president may have managing the bureaucracy. Now, the bureaucracy is big and unwieldy, and it includes people who have civil service protection and may have been in their post for decades at a time. And uh, they very often will do what they want to do rather than what the elected officials at the top of the hierarchy want them to do. And some people think that this is an especially acute problem for Republican presidents because bureaucracies often are expanded under the tenure of Democratic presidents. And since the size and activity and scope of government is something the parties disagree about, uh, it is argued that controlling the bureaucracy poses a problem for Republican presidents that it may not for Democratic presidents, although it can pose a problem for presidents of either party, which may explain why there's talk about Trump firing many thousands of bureaucrats should he occupy the Oval Office again, beginning in January 2025. All right, so that's what we're trying to do in the class notes for Unit 6. Okay, we mentioned to you what you're going to be reading for your quiz on Saturday. Tuesday through Thursday, the first through the third, we're going to try to run a discussion on federal spending, federal programs, and federal bureaucratic activity. Uh, this is the sort of activity that it is argued the bureaucracy sometimes perpetuates, even if elected officials think it uh, could be wasteful or unnecessary or a level of government activity that could be cut back. Uh, 
be that as it may, in this particular case, it's something that may be beneficial to people in our area, especially the area right around uh, OPSU, in particular Garden City, Kansas, which is just a couple of hours drive away from campus. So look at the discussion in the assignment and a couple of the articles that have been linked. Okay. It regards what the federal government is doing for the airport in Garden City, Kansas. Is this something you think it's appropriate for the feds to be doing? Or would you rather have them cease and desist and save the taxpayers money? So take a look at that and post to the discussion twice if you can between Tuesday the 1st and Thursday the 3rd. And then we'll take the quiz Saturday and we'll be finished with Unit 6 on the federal bureaucracy and we'll move on from there to the Supreme Court. So, this week you have a discussion, and then this coming weekend, Saturday the 5th, a, a quiz, all related to the Unit 6 material on the federal bureaucracy. So we hope you'll take a look at that material, hope you'll do well on the quiz, and that you'll take part in the discussion. And we'll have a bit more to say about the Supreme Court beginning one week from tonight, when we talk to you once again. So, stay hard, take it easy, and uh, we'll talk to you in a week or so.